Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel, and today we're going to show you something a little different. We're going to show you all the different sizes and all the different uses for all the different inner cores and outer casings. So to get started, I'll show you all what I have on the table here. We have three sections of inner core. Uh, this one here is 0 0.130. The one in the middle here, 0 0.150, and the thicker stuff here is a 0 0.187. Now, the different uses for these are going to be, uh, well, kind of depends on what you're, like I said, but what you're going to use it for, right? The thinner stuff is more for cars, the middle stuff, the bigger, bigger than that is more for trucks, the bigger still is for more industrial application. So this stuff here, uh, the 130, these are commonly used for things like speedometer cables, uh, tack cables. Uh, tack cables can also be in the 150 as well, but the primary use for the 130 are for speedometer cables. So that'd be for stuff for GM, Ford, Chrysler, uh, Dodges, uh, all sorts of stuff out there. But this stuff, because it's lighter and thinner, is also used in airline applications. But the only difference to that is the weave in which the wire is wound will go the opposite direction. Instead of left hand, it'll be right hand and vice versa, that kind of thing. So that's the, the deal with the 130. The 150 core is for some stuff that needs a little bit more strength and more robust tips. So these are used in things like trucks. Um, they're also used for some lighter duty industrial stuff. Uh, that being said, you can use the 150 core for almost anything the 187 core needs to be used for. Uh, it just depends if uh, your specific application is needing of it, or if there's a specific tip that specifically only fits on the one. But yeah, like these are commonly used in uh, Vita root counter cables. Uh, now they're using speedometer cables as well, uh, not as frequently, but yeah, it's a very robust, well, well used cable. And finally, we have the 187. Now this stuff is a lot less common to use. It's more common, uh, more commonly used many years ago, uh, just because people were quite adamant on needing certain sizing. Um, but these are almost exclusively used in industrial applications. So oil and gas, wireline, um, uh, machinery that uses any kind of a kind of a flex to it, uh, things like that. So this stuff is more geared for the heavy use. And then we get to our outer casing. So our two most popular are our 330 or 0.330 or a 0 0.445. So this stuff here is commonly only used for the 130. It fits nicely inside. It is a little snug, but it gets the job done, no problem. The ferrule availability for stuff for this size is a lot more than the other sizes on the table I'll get to in a minute. But this stuff paired with the 130 uh, is almost exclusively the kind of stuff you would get in a standard GM speedometer cable or a Ford speedometer cable, anything like that. Now, this will not take any of the 150 or 187 purely because the inner diameter is, is just too thin. So for that, we need to bump up to the 445. Now, it's pretty thick and that's because it has quite a large opening and that easily accommodates the 150 and the 187. So this stuff, you wouldn't normally pair up with the 130 cable. You could do it in a pinch, but there is an awful lot of play that can occur uh, with using 
such a small diameter cable. So for the 445, we strongly recommend either the 150 or the 187. Now going on to the stuff that's a little more obscure, uh, these sizes on the outer diameter are smaller than this one. The inner diameter will be the same. So all the three of these will stay, still take the 130 core. The only difference is the outer diameter, and that will change the, the availability of the kind of ferrules uh, you're able to pair up with it. Uh, for that very reason, uh, almost exclusively we'll use the uh, 330. This is two, sorry, 0 0.295, and I believe this is 0 0.296. I'll have to double check on that. But the these two here are very uncommon and almost rarely used. Uh, the only real instance for the bare outer casing is some people like to do uh, as original restorations as they possibly can on some really old uh, restoration stuff from like the 30s, the 40s, that kind of stuff. And a lot of that stuff didn't have the vinyl or rubber coating on them. So a lot of the diehard restoration fans will be aiming for this. However, the ferrule availability is a lot more limited just purely because of the diameter and the ability to actually crimp them together. Uh, the stage up from that, like I said, this is still a vinyl coat. It'll still take the 130, but because it's just that little bit smaller, ferrules that will fit on the 330 will technically slide on, but you're going to have a very difficult time getting uh, ferrules to actually crimp on properly. You will, you'll come into problems where they will actually slip off. And in those cases, uh, in custom work that I've done, I have genuinely been forced to just kind of hodgepodge things together and use epoxy to hold ferrules on. It's not something I like, but sometimes uh, if the customer can't change the uh, connecting points and things like that, or if there's stringent uh, build requirements for it, then, you know, it, it is what it is and you kind of have to, you know, make it work, right? But... Yeah, that there is a nice rundown of all the inner core and outer casing that we here supply and deal with. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, just leave them in the comments section below. As always, like and subscribe. And as always, have a good one.